so students last week uh, we started the chapter organic chemistry in which we describe okay these three things which mainly comes in your exam about alkane alkene and alkyne okay so these are the basic thing whatever we are going uh, to read further okay about other things preparation uh, their preparation and iupac name etc if you don't know these basic thing uh, you are not able to understand the con for, uh, whole concept okay so first uh, okay so i am talking that first thing is alkene okay whenever carbon carbon single bond is coming okay we call it as a alkene okay when double bond it's uh, uh, called as alkene and when you see the car triple bond between carbon and carbon okay we said it as uh, alkyne okay same thing as if you say the example of methane okay it is a alkene okay when uh, we convert them okay in their alkene alkene form okay it become the methane okay and methane okay like that is same as for the ethene also okay so their general formula is uh, for alkene is cn h2n plus 2 for alkene cn h2n and for alkyne cn h2n minus 2 okay these are the basic things which you have to understand okay where to put n is equal to 1 and 0 we will discuss further but this is the first thing okay which you have to understand now we discuss about something uh, i tell you about the alcohol okay or mix uh, groups okay these are the groups which is attached to these compounds okay suppose uh, when first thing you have to understand its formula okay and it represented by dash oh okay whenever it you see that from a carbon okay when this uh, hydroxyl group it is also called as a hydroxyl group or alcohol group okay ch3 oh is attached here okay so it means it become the when one minus okay from methane one minus we already read it uh, their groups methyl okay it become methyl alcohol okay like that if we talk about the c2h5oh it become the ethyl alcohol so mainly group you have to mug up okay you have to understand the groups same for the, uh, the other aldehyde okay aldehyde is cho it is represented by c uh, c h c o o s c o h okay s c h o okay s c h o it uh, and you have to put n is equal to 0 for them okay when you write their formula cn s to n okay how you will we get uh, this ch o okay you have to put in the place of n 0 then you will get the ch o okay so you have to put here n is equal to 0 so if we talk about their ipc name uh, further when we talk about the ipc name you will be understand better okay there is a, just a example i write okay c4 h9 oh okay it is uh, the example of uh, butanol okay four carbon compound uh, i already tell you uh, different things in last year okay and methyl ethyl propyl okay uh, we discuss in later also in this class this time i'm just briefing you about the alcohol groups okay as you already read it so i'm just briefing them ketone whenever a uh, double bond o is coming here okay one thing to remember okay you have that first aldehyde and ketone they are somewhat similar okay how we can distinguish them i will tell you later so this is just an example of the ketone and their general formula is cn2no okay and you have to put here value of n is 3 okay so if you see here ch3co ch3 okay and here you can see this is also an example of uh, if we talk about their branch structure okay ch3 ch2 co ch3 okay i hope you have to understand that how to balance them because you know that carbon is a 
tetravalent okay it has four valences so you have to satisfy its four valency okay so double bond it here only it means it represents that two valency of here carbon is two and one carbon it is here it means one here and one is here so it means it has to uh, come its octane state four valency okay so like this you have to make them and if you see here if you take about the example of butanone okay the example of ketone okay c4h8o it is also c4h8o okay so you can see there somehow difference in their structural formula also so this is known as the isomerism same as for pentanone c5h10o when you make the c5h10o you can make easily okay one two three four five like that okay and just satisfy the valency of carbon ch3 one two bond is here you have to then attach ch2 here okay so like this you have to make the four tetravalent compound and you can easily understand these things then whatever thing which we understand till now is alkane its general formula cn s2 n plus 2 okay this formula you have to understand alkene cn s2 n for getting this uh, formula you have to put the value of n is equal to 2 then alkyne cn s2 n minus 2 and here also the value of n is equal to 2 alcohols formula is cn s2 n plus 1 okay where n is equal to 1 then for aldehyde okay cn s2 n plus o, 1 okay and their uh, functional group i also written here cho ketone ketones is cn s2 n o and here n is equal to 3 here you have to put okay just kept in mind in the case of ketone is something different then carboxylic acid okay cn s2 n plus 1 and you have to put the value of 0 here okay and it's a group attached to it functional group is c double uh, oh okay c o h so carboxylic acid represented as okay h c o h or c o h okay like this oic acid is formed okay when you read about the iupc name you will be understand them okay oic acid is represented by carboxylic acid sometime in exams okay uh, you can take a screenshot or anything of this or you can note it down it okay this question will be asked okay so there general name okay general name also asked in the exam so you have to, uh, to uh, mug up these or you have to memorize them this is the only one method okay formula or etc you can uh, understand but their common name because common name is common okay for all okay as your name and my name we have to just remember the names of each other okay so that's why the names of these uh, compounds also okay so whenever first uh, you can see the example of cs2 double bond cs2 okay it means c2h4 okay c2h4 means it is ethene why we call it ethene because double bond here okay whenever double bond present it means it is a alkene so you have to convert them okay and two carbon means two carbon means eth okay so it is uh, ethene happen ethene and its common name is ethylene okay next is ch okay triple bond ch so it is ethyne okay its uh, iupac name is ethyne and general name or common name is acetylene okay c2h2 then ch3oh okay carbon is here you know, first so it is a methanol okay because alcohol group is uh, joined here okay in first position carbon it means meth okay and after that a vowel is start that's why we write it as only uh, we have to cut the e and it we return it as a methanol and it common name is methyl alcohol next is ch3 ch2oh okay so its formula if you say that its common its ipc name is ethanol okay if you write it as c2h5oh okay c2h5oh it means it's ethyl alcohol okay c2h5oh then third one fourth one c h c o o s c h o okay s c h o means it's the methanol and it's a very famous formula is formaldehyde 
okay it's come in exam also it is important then ch3 cho okay ch3 cho is here ethanol it is also called as acetaldehyde okay you have to understand their common names then propanone okay iupc name i told you later that how you do get the iupc name very in a very easy method so this time you have to understand only their common name and its common name is acetone okay then formic acid okay sc oh okay uh, you can understand the difference between these two okay then uh, you will understand them formic acid and formaldehyde what is the difference between the aldehyde group in first one okay cho group and it's the c o o h h okay so you can see methanoic acid or it is called as a formic acid then another example is ethanoic acid cs3 coh okay cs3 coh is very famous name of acetic acid okay you read in many reactions this name acetic acid so this is the common name of ethanoic acid now we will start the alkane okay about talking about the alkanes okay their general formula you know that cn as to n plus 2 okay if you do one thing many times okay you become the master of it okay so that's why whenever uh, you read organic chemistry you just put their formula and etc just uh, revise in your mind every time so you will get easy uh, for you this then as you know that when we talk about alkane they have the single bond structure okay carbon has single bond and they are saturated saturated means they are very least reactive okay they are the compounds which are very least reactive okay and if you talk about the methane and ethane okay they are found in the gaseous state okay these two states and uh, we know that this is called as the mass gas also within sometime mass okay so this is the general thing about it and you can also read in your book now we read about its preparation okay today i am going to discuss the all preparation of alkane alkene and alkyne how they prepare in the lab first from the soda lime okay soda lime as you know that ch3co na so first how we make the soda lime okay for soda lime okay uh, we have to make the uh, uh, for, sorry for soda lime how can we make sodium salt we need it okay sodium salt plus soda lime okay sodium salt it is a carboxylic acid should be so sodium uh, soda lime when we talk about soda lime it has a mixture of NaOH plus CO okay NaOH is the 3 ratio 1 it's okay so how can we make it CS3 so COH okay it is a carboxylic acid okay acetic acid it was so when uh, we just pass through with the Na okay it uh, just combined with Na okay first we have to make the sodium okay acetate okay sodium acetate it was become okay CS3 CONA because H is replaced from here okay or removed from here okay this H is removed from here and it attaches to this Na so it become the sodium acetate now we have to do a reaction okay because we have to get the methane we can we what we are making we are making alkane so we have to our last uh, main you have to write the, your main name whenever you make equation okay because to do short time i am not able to discuss in the board so ch4 okay we have to get the alkane so for from soda lime okay first we make this carboxylic acid okay it become the sodium acetate here then uh, we pass through the soda lime NaOH okay and the condition is here uh, with the help of CaO okay and the temperature should be 300 degree centigrade okay so if you see from here CS3 CO Na this Na is just attached to this CO Na okay and it become the Na2 CO3 okay sodium carbide it become and we get the methane H. cs3 plus h h is attached here okay so balancing equation and what are the remove and removal like these things displacement you have to understand things okay so ch4 is b then how we collect this methane now collected by 
downward okay disp of water okay as you know that uh, these are very less uh, if you say that okay they are not well collected in the other means so that's why we will uh, collect in water because they are not completely dissolved in water or very less dissolved in water okay so methane this by this time who we get the alkene okay and it is also called as the uh, decarboxylation reaction because removal of carbon dioxide is taking place in this okay from cao next method from alkyl halide okay alkyl halide means they are the halide of chlorine okay bromine iodine okay fluorine when we talk about the halide it means it come from the halogen okay mainly iodide is used because it is re, uh, readily removed it is easy to remove the iodine okay so whenever you do the reaction of uh, iodomethane okay methyl iodide it was okay methyl cs3 methyl and iodide is attached here to iodide okay so two nascent hydrogen okay we need two nascent hydrogen and we get it from the zinc plus dilute hcl okay whenever the reaction take place in presence of zinc plus dilute hcl we get the two nascent hydrogen okay from that we get the methane okay what we have to do we have to just need one hydrogen there okay to make it ch4 okay so one hydrogen is attached here and one hydrogen attached with the iodine it is become the hydrogen iodide okay same reaction can be take place for the ethyl iodide also we just put here ethyl group okay c2h5 i plus 2h okay in the presence of this zn plus dial hcl okay it become the c2h6 what is your our aim okay first write the aim whenever you make the reaction okay suppose in exam comes preparation of uh, this okay yeah, or you have to complete the equation so you have to get the c2 s6 okay so then you can make what is needed here only one hydrogen is needed here okay so and it becomes c2 s6 and hydrogen iodide will be get okay mean aim is our get to methane okay so this reaction can be take place for uh, bromine also okay in the place we can put bromine chlorine okay any halogen we can put here another important reaction okay as uh, from the metal carbide metal carbide mainly okay c minus 4 when we talk about the carbide form of any metal it means cl uh, c minus 4 okay so aluminum carbide when pass through a steam okay we will get the methane so when we talk about the aluminum carbide its valence is plus 3 aluminum okay and carbide form is c 4 minus then when we write it's valency in valency form okay in ninth class you read about the uh, uh, these uh, balancing valencies okay so then we get the al4 c3 aluminum carbide plus h2o okay then you can balance uh, your equation later okay it is already balanced but uh, later you can do it okay first what we have to make ch4 okay you just write here like that al4 c3 plus h2o okay then right ch4 okay then you have to know that uh, this al aluminum hydroxide is become here okay aloh hold twice three then you can balance very easily okay l4 means you have to put here four aluminum okay then four is three is a 12 12 hydrogen there then you put here 12 okay 24 hydrogen means you have to put here three okay or in the uh, sense of carbon you can also put here three okay four then you can when calculate them okay these all come in equal amount so this is the third method okay for making alkene another reaction for making alkene is very famous reaction is wurtz reaction okay we use alkyl halide for it okay mainly chlorine is used here okay it doesn't mean that uh, we are not using other we can use other halogens also okay or halide also so mainly chlorine is used here 
in this reaction so you can see methyl chloride reaction okay uh, with the help of two sodium material okay two sodium element we needed okay and we needed the two methyl carbide chloride here okay cl cs3 for this reaction okay and we needed dry ether and solvent in presence of dry ether and a solvent okay it becomes two nacl as you see okay na these two na react with this cl okay and displace it and it becomes the sodium chloride what is our aim our aim is to get the ethane okay from methyl chloride okay and we get the c2 f6 okay so that's why this is known as the wood reaction uh, on the name of scientist okay so these are the four reaction of making alkene we come to the point of alkene now we understand the preparation of alkene before that we are just briefing about them okay their general formula cn2n ethene c2h4 double bond is here in between carbon and carbon okay we have to show like this cs2 cs2 c2h4 means ethylene okay it is mainly uh, is a peculiar characteristics of that is uh, they, uh, they are unsaturated compound okay except alkane both alkane alkene and alkyne are unsaturated because they have double and triple bond okay so they are very reactive as they have double bond okay they are also called as olefin because we get oil from them okay mainly they are used in the preparation of oils they are also used in the artificial ripening of fruits okay the name of ethylene you heard in biology also i think or in other perspective you hear that mainly this ethylene is used for the ripening of fruit mainly for the banana etc okay as you know that uh, banana is uh, always uh, you seen in market okay always ripening or so there is use because it is very easy to ripe the bananas with the help of ethylene okay then oxyethylene welding also uh, you use in them okay you will read in later about that now we come to the preparation of them first from alkyl halide or halo alkanes okay so you see here c2h5 br okay bromo ethene or ethyl bromide okay we have to use only whenever term come from alkyl halide you have to understand that we can use anything instead of bromine we can use chlorine and etc okay iodine also fluorine also so in this reaction you can see that we need alcoholic concentrated koh okay why we written alcoholic koh it means it is in the solvent form of alcohol okay if you not write it it become the different reaction okay so you have to remember whenever you write about the preparation of alkenes okay with the help of uh, these potassium hydroxide okay you have to write in alcoholic form so you will really understand here okay it become the kbr okay it starts with here kbr and we have what you have to need we have to need this c2 h4 okay we have to remove one hydrogen from them okay so it becomes c2h4 and this hydrogen attached with oh and it become the h2o here when we elaborate this reaction okay to understand these reaction you have to always elaborate them in expand form okay then when we expand them c c c2 okay then the valency we have to certify h h h okay h h and here br we have to attach it becomes c2 h5 br okay plus k h and their h plus form and br minus form as you know their anionic form okay then it as the k attached with this br and this oh attached with this h okay here then it becomes kbr plus h2 then we get the c2 h4 okay but whatever left here you can write here like this and you for the valency you can see from this carbon one two only uh, hydrogen and two hydrogen are attached there okay so its valency is two we have to satisfy one carbon is also attached three so for satisfaction we have to uh, give here double bond okay so both the valencies are satisfied here both carbon valencies now satisfy here okay 
and this is also uh, one thing here this is also uh, collected by the downward disp of water because it is also not completely or fully dissolved water or less dissolved water okay so uh, its reaction also called as okay this reaction is also called as dehydro halogenation okay dehydro means uh, you know that is here is uh, removal of h2 here okay hydrogen is removed here in the form of h2 and halogenation means halogen is attached okay from potassium so that's why it is also known as dehydro halogenation reaction now from alcohol okay we can uh, make the alkenes with the help of alcohol by the dehydration of alcohol okay dehydration means removal of water so how can we achieve this c2h5oh okay ethyl alcohol we take in the presence of concentrated h2so4 okay and temperature should be 170 degree centigrade okay concentrated h2so4 why are we taking because it is a strong dehydrating agent or drying agent also okay so to see here this from h2o okay what we have to do we have to remove one hydrogen here and it become the c2h4 okay our aim is to make the c2h4 then we write c2h4 here and one h is when removed it attaches with the this alcohol group and it become the water okay so you can see here when we expand them okay C two, C C okay, H five one two three four five and O H group is attached here. Okay, this is a single branch structure. Okay, so this H two O will be removed here from here. Okay, and become H two O and we need only C two H four. Okay, so it become the C two H four now remain here. So we write it here as it is. to satisfy the valency because we have to get the ethene we put double bond here okay so now understand there one carbon two carbon okay one attached with hydrogen second also attached with hydrogen okay two bonds are attached with carbon so satisfy of this carbon is okay valency of this carbon is satisfied and this carbon also satisfied 1 2 3 4 next now we read about the alkyne okay alkyne channel formula uh, is cn h2n minus 2 okay we represent it as a triple bond structure cut between carbon and carbon triple bond there okay we cannot put here n is equal to 1 okay we have to put n is n is equal to 2 to get its channel formula okay c2h2 as you know that it is acetylene commonly called okay it is a gas and in Came in IPC name we called it as a ethane. Okay, in the form of alkyne we now called it as ethane. Okay, and it is a odorless gas. Okay, when we read about it, odorless gas. But if there are some impurities in it, okay, as the impurities of phosphine, phosphine gas, it smell like a garlic. Okay, garlic odor liquid comes from it. Okay, due to impurities. But in normal form, it is a adolescent gas okay then when we talk about the preparation okay calcium carbide plus water okay first thing uh, by the calcium carbide uh, by the reaction of calcium carbide with water okay normal reaction it was okay so cac2 plus h2o we become the c2 h2 okay our aim is to become the ethane so first right c2 h2 is here and calcium hydroxide will be become here okay now we you have to expand it okay to understand more better here carbon triple bond carbon okay and ca attached like this okay this is the structure of ca c2 calcium carbide structure is like that okay then we can write as two as it is okay oh plus h okay oh plus h so this calcium carbide is attached with this okay CaOH, okay CaOH. So it become the calcium hydroxide. We need two H two O. You can write here two H two also. Okay. So it become the ethane. Okay. You can see that CH is attached with here. One H is attached with here. 
a triple bond between them okay and uh, calcium hydroxide is formed here okay so this is the preparation with the help of calcium carbide and water so if there is any impurity in the this okay uh, impurity is like phosphine so how can we get rid of it and just pass the gas with the k2cr2o7 potassium dichromate solution from uh, when we pass this gas from the potassium dichromate solution we eventually get the pure form of this acetylene gas or ethane gas okay next preparation okay uh, this is an elimination reaction okay from 1 to dibromoethane okay don't worry about the ipc name i will tell you uh, in this lecture so from 1 to dibromoethane okay you have to understand okay cc uh, single uh, bond structure is here okay so c uh, c uh, and you have to satisfy the valencies and uh, two bromine atom as to name here one two dibromo is here okay then alcoholic koh is needed here okay as i already explained about the alcoholic koh then we will get the our main aim to get the c2h2 we can write it as and 2 kbr plus 2 h2 okay this br is attached with the one kbr okay and these k k attached with two and two h2 rest of it as two so till here you understand okay so students uh, who uh, already uh, read it i hope uh, it's much easier okay if you things are not understanding but uh, today after today's session it will be all things will be cleared in this session okay about the alkane alkene and alkyne and their uh, general characteristics about you can now read yourself okay so you can read yourself about their general things so after exam i don't know what will be happen uh, to go in closing school or classes will be conducted or not so that's why i am uh, also sharing with you today iupc name okay how to write iupc name because it is a uh, very much mess up with the students okay sometimes they found very difficult to write the iupc name so i am just briefing you about them okay first thing you have to uh, for iupc name you have to know the general formula their common name etc position okay it is a single chain or branch chain like this you have to understand okay i'm just briefing about you that what you have to do if you want to write an iupc name okay so i'm sharing screen with you only 10 minutes i will take from you now 